Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 6th. Now keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. So let's just see what comes up. What do we have for a message today? Temperance reversed, so uneasy. Starts that may start out uneasy. Five of Wands, so yeah. So there's some sort of struggle. Starting out with some sort of struggle. Um, temperance reversed is uneasy, frustrated, moody struggling conflict there's some sort of conflict here okay with the five of wands that is that is some sort of battle you know tug of war <laughs> so we do have some sort of um frustrations with not things not being easy with temperance reverse so i feel like things are gonna start out uh probably not on the easiest note um there's some sort of Maybe there's some sort of argument or something like that. Definitely frustration. Five of swords reversed. Now the five of swords reversed could be, you know, uh, walking away from a battle right next to the five of wands, deciding not to fight, or it could be all out war. It could be war. Both of these cards signify battle and extremes with temperance reverse in reverse that is, that is extreme oh, death on the bottom so this is an end end to something something is coming to an end there's some sort of fighting here there's some sort of battling tug of war going back and forth this is not an easy situation there's definitely a power struggle here fives are about change but you must be willing to shed the old out with the old and in with the new it's a positive change but you have to choose not to fight i mean with that tug of war card you don't you don't have to play you know somebody is choosing to play they're choosing so there's some sort of drama here um something is definitely off with the temperance reversed we have some unhealthy behavior Petty behavior, petty arguments. But the Five of Swords reverse could be all out war. It could also be, a, be, you know, walking away. I don't want to fight anymore. We definitely have the end of something. There's been no compromise with the Temperance reverse. It's an unwillingness to compromise. Definitely, we have two people here that are definitely fighting. They are fighting with each other. There's no compromise, right? There's no ability to come together. These two people just don't. Both of these people are wanting to win. Okay, I want to win, I want to win, I want to win, so I'm unwilling to compromise. Power reverse. Now, this is extremes as well. Extreme disruption. So there, I feel like there's there could have we could have somebody here that has some health issues. Okay, with temperance reverse and tower reverse. This is this could be ill health, poor health, unstable, insecure. Um, five of swords can also be mental health. Uh, definitely, uh, there's going to be some disruption. It is unavoidable. Okay, this needs to be dealt with. If you continue to pretend that everything is okay, it's just going to get worse. The tower reversed is is a massive rude awakening. Somebody's about to get a rude awakening. Something is definitely off. This is a permanent loss of some sort with the tower reversed. It is permanent. 
but there is a new beginning here because the tower is a forced change. Somebody is going to be forced to do something that they don't, that they have been refused. Maybe it's to let go, to walk away from something, you know, to compromise. There's definitely, it starts out on an uneasy note with that temperance reverse. This is, this is, uh, bad behavior. It is bad behavior. Mass, there probably is going to be a fight with the Five of Wands, the Five of Swords, and the Tower card. Whether it's reversed or not, this is this is unavoidable. I do believe it's unavoidable because we have two people that are struggling. They're struggling. They're definitely struggling to mix. They don't mix well together. Okay, Temperance reverse. This is not a good mix. It's it's not. So there's going to be chaos. There's going to be upheaval. Death reverse now. This is like a disaster. Oh, three of swords. This is painful separation. It's necessary. It hurts. This is grieving. This is heartache of somebody. This is suffering over a partnership because the two of swords comes before it. We have somebody here that is hurting. They're in some sort of pain. You know, their heart aches. This is heartache. Heartaching pain over a separation. I mean, the death and the tower are both separation cards. This is a sudden, it's very, very sudden, a sudden ending of some sort. We have somebody here that is refusing to change with the death card reversed and the tower reversed. They've been pretending with the tower reversed, pretending that everything is good, pretending that this is healthy, pretend again with the temperance card reversed. They, somebody has really been pretending that everything is okay, but they've been really battling with another person. There's, there could be a sudden departure here where things crumble really, really, really fast. Something is definitely off. We have somebody here that is unstable. They are, they are not very healthy or they're not in a healthy situation where they're just not. It's not healthy. Temperance reversed. There's an, there's, there's an imbalance here. And there's unwillingness to compromise because of this five of wands that's right, right next to it. This is a constant battle. It's like this is a totally, totally unwilling to compromise. Refusing to evolve, refusing to change, refusing to accept that compromise is needed. We definitely have two people that are struggling with each other. We could also, this could be one person that is going back and forth, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, unwilling to accept some sort of loss because the death is, comes before a temperance card. Somebody is unable to accept a loss. They are unable to accept that something is over. There's going to be a massive rude awakening, put it that way. This definitely hurts. It's painful. It's a painful separation. This hurts. This hurts. King of Wands could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Sagittarius in the Temperance card. We have Scorpio twice. We have the Tower and Death, which both represent the sign of Scorpio. We also have Aquarius, because I think of Aquarius, I mean, I think of Aquarius as Uranus, and I think that I consider the Tower a Uranus card. So I consider the Tower also Uranus. Um... So I think we have Aquarius as well. So anyway, we have somebody here that is about to get some sort of rude awakening. They have been in an unstable foundation or unstable environment 
where there's a lot of falseness because a tower is falseness. There's there's false, there's lies, there's deception, there's betrayal with the five of swords. It, extremely, there's this is ex, this is like maybe um, a fall, a fall from power. Somebody may be losing their power over another person, or they may be deciding to walk away from a false sense of security because of the five of swords reversed right next to that tower. That's like choosing to walk away. I just want to be happy. You know, surrendering their ego. You know what? I don't want to win anymore. I'm sick of playing these games. I'm sick of the competition. You know, and th there's some sort of universal force here with the Tower card. So the universe may step in and force a change. Something is happening. Now, the King of Wands is very decisive. This is somebody that is very intelligent that... Uh, takes a leadership position and generally takes action. So somebody is about to take action. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could also be a Scorpio, like I said. Uh, five of Pentacles reversed. Now that we have three fives, so five, 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 expect the unexpected. Uh, life changes. There's some major life changes again with the tower and death card as well. We have something that is about to change. It is big. Okay, this is unexpected change. This is actually positive change. The universe is is basically trying to push somebody in a new direction. And I don't need the Wheel of Fortune to say that, but we have somebody here with the temperance reverse that has been resisting it. And they're extremely frustrated. We have extremes. This holding on to this false sense of security is definitely getting old. I feel like there's going to be an incident that happens. Somebody is about to take action in some way. They got this new vision. Uh, this is somebody that is very, very intelligent and skilled. This is somebody that has no fear that is about to take action. They, they're, they're, they're in a space where they are feeling very confident in their decision. So somebody is about to make a decision and uh, they're in a very strong position to do so. This is a very strong individual. This person is... Uh, making a choice they're making a choice to uh well there's, they're going to be facing some challenges this is a fearless individual maybe they're ready to fight they're ready to fight for something you know I, we do have a permanent loss here we do anyway five of pentacles reversed is uh outcast we have somebody here that has been outcast they're going to be receiving some help they've been ghosted they've been neglected um, now they're getting some sort of help somebody could be coming back around after they ghosted to put somebody or left them in the cold there's some sort of help arrive now the arriving now the king of pentacles i mean the king of pentacles why did i say that um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is the King of Pentacles, um, but the King of Wands is a protector. This is somebody that is very noble, uh, typically uh, is doing something for that is in the best interest of everybody involved. Very creative, passionate, also impulsive. So I feel like we have some, but but I. Yeah, this is impulsive. This is probably impulsive. But intelligent. I mean, all kings have a lot of life experience. So this person is, is probably making a decision based on what they have seen because this is a visionary. They've seen something and they're about to do something. Very, it's extremely sudden. It is, it is impulsive. So something is going to happen extremely suddenly. There's been some sort of indecisiveness. There's been a delay. This is a, ooh, 
with the sudden with the tower reverse and the death reverse that is a sudden change that has been prolonged you can't avoid it like i said it's unavoidable there's a, there's a change that has been delayed it's been avoided up until now the empress reversed and the five of cups so we've had all four fives five 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 expect the unexpected this is a major life choice a major life change this is life is about to change i'm telling you why and it's interesting because today i went to the ocean and uh i first place we stopped the total was 15.55 can't remember what i bought Anyway, I went to the next store and it was 1556. So anyway, so we got a lot of fives there. And then I saw a license plate with 6666 on it. So right after that, so 1555, then 1556, then 666. I'm like, what the heck is going on here? Five of Cups, grieving over a loss. So this is a loss. It's grieving. It's mourning. It's crying over the spilled milk. There's another opportunity for love that has been missed. Empress reversed, King of Wands looking at the Empress reversed. Now the Empress reversed is, I don't know if that is a female that or a feminine energy that doesn't know their value. I mean the Empress in reverse is typically sad. Next to the Temperance reversed. Somebody is, we have an Empress reversed. This is somebody that doesn't take care of her family or she doesn't take care of herself she doesn't take care of the children or she doesn't like the children we have a mother and a father here there could be an absent mother here or somebody that isn't very motherly that doesn't take care of anybody we've been talking about this empress in reverse a lot The temperance reverse, something is off. There's un, there's a, there's a, some sort of termination or uh, struggling. Somebody is struggling over a choice. They're struggling. Maybe they're in their ego. The empress reverse, un, the em, empress reverse is lack of growth, lack of fertility. Um, Lack of mothering, an absent mother, lack of love, lack of abundance. There's there's somebody here that, that doesn't love freely. There's a lack of love here with the Empress reverse. There's a lack of unconditional love. The Empress reversed is not very loving. She does not give love freely. She does. This is somebody that doesn't really want commitment that uh, isn't ready, isn't ready, isn't ready to be a parent, isn't ready to be a mother, isn't ready to, or isn't a very good mother, or doesn't like the children. We may have somebody here that doesn't get along with their partner's children, you know, doesn't respect the children, doesn't, doesn't want to be, doesn't want the children to be around. Something about the children reverse there's something that is off about this female we have a female here that is repeating negative patterns we have a female here that is repeating negative patterns now we made this female you know may not know her value she may not know her worth I mean the Empress in reverse is somebody that is struggling something we definitely have some we, we also have the king of wands that is struggling as well so we definitely have a power struggle here but, but we have we have a masculine and a feminine that are fighting with each other oh okay they're not on the same page this is okay okay take a look at that that's exactly what that is that is fighting so we have a masculine and a feminine that are, are fighting with each other a lot. The next card is the Five of Swords. 
And we've had four fives now. That is conflict. Fives are a conflict and change. So oh, there's some sort of fighting that is going on because there's fault sense. This is a fault sense of security. It's already over. It's not real. It's not stable. There's a lot that's hidden behind those walls. We could, this female may be having affairs. She doesn't really want a commitment. She's not a true empress because a true empress wants commitment. A true empress wants commitment. She does. She, she's looking for her emperor. The temperance reverse, something is off. Something is definitely off. We have somebody here that is unwilling. Both these people are unwilling to compromise. These people don't, two people, we got two people here don't see eye to eye at all. Two of Swords reverse. That is something being exposed. Lies being exposed. Coming out of denial. That is uh, opening up. Somebody has been blocking their emotions. They've been held back. Maybe held back by fear. They've been blocking their emotions. Emotionally guarded. Refusing to see the truth. Refusing to accept the truth. Refusing to move on. Stuck. Torn. Torn in two different directions. Fighting with a player. Somebody like the Five of Wands is... I mean tug of war that's a game right we talk we talk about games all the time you can choose to play the game or you can choose to surrender the next card out is the five of swords reversed surrender walk away i just want to be happy i don't want to fight with you anymore fuck you sorry that slipped anyhow uh <clears throat> the world the end. This is the end of a journey. Somebody has learned some sort of lesson or they're about to. This is the end of a chapter. It's the end of something significant that has taught somebody a lesson. That journey is over. That phase is over. That project is over. That, that situation is over. So something is ending. This is the last card in the deck. This is a major ending. There is somebody that went through a cycle that they needed to go through. They hadn't learned their lesson because the temperance reversed. The very first card is not learning a lesson. Okay, that is, you know, somebody that has been refusing to learn a lesson, playing a game with some sort of player that doesn't, you know, love with all their heart anyway and they are about to um, step away from the false sense of security and there's probably going to be an uproar there's probably going to be a disruption or a dismantling of a false sense of security it's very sudden it is very somebody could suddenly be walking away okay it's very very this is making a sudden decision two of swords reverse that is the decision being made there's definitely been some sort of delay because of falseness because of um not wanting to lose you know somebody has been not wanting to lose you know not wanting to uh let go for some reason because you know when you let when whoever chooses to let go of that rope you know may seem like they're the loser but they're not because the the the, the winner the winner walks away honestly who wants to battle who wants to fight all the time that's not winning that's losing that's not any kind of life to live it's not endings always lead to new beginnings they do this is a major ending. This is a universe card, and the tower is the universe card. So we do have a major ending of a cycle. Somebody is giving up. I do believe with the five of swords reversed next to the five of wands, they're giving up on a false sense of security that they have been holding on to that has been causing them a lot of pain. You think about the tug of war, holding on to that rope, it's got to be painful. And we had the three of swords as well. So there's pain. There's, there's holding on to the pain is only going to cause more 
injury. Okay, it is, it is. So there's a need to stop repeating that ne those negative patterns and evolve. This is about evolution. Everything happens for a reason. The temperance card is a is a is about purpose. It's about a reason. But there's a need to accept. There's a need to accept that something is over. And we have somebody here that has been refusing to accept with the temperance reverse. They've been refusing to accept that something is over. So I believe that there's going to be a battle. There's going to be a fight. There's going to be some sort of conflict that forces somebody to see, you know, uh, that they have, that they need to... Uh, accept the truth of whatever it is so yeah I feel like this is a very sudden change um, Somebody has been blocking their emotions. They've been blocking their feelings. And I also, I just had the four of want or pentacles reverse. It's gone now. That's opening up, opening up in some way. They may be opening up to somebody that they pushed away with the five of swords reversed. They may be doing the noble thing, you know, doing the right thing for everybody involved. I do believe there's going to be a battle which which forces somebody in a new direction. Just had the page of cups which is actually good news that is expressing feelings, you know, speaking from the heart. Somebody is going to be expressing their feelings. They've been in a false sense of security, holding on to something that hurts. I feel like things are about to change very, very, very suddenly. Somebody is walking away. They're walking towards the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment. We had this, I think, yesterday. I can't remember. Leaving behind the disappointment. I'm, I, I, you know what I just heard? Going going home, and I don't know where home is. Maybe it's a new home. Oh. The lovers reverse, so that is a separation. It is detaching from a false contract. This is some sort of separation. There's another option here. There is. With the two of cu the two of swords, the lovers, and the five of cups. There's definitely another option that has been ignored or it has been missed because somebody has been moping over a loss. They've been holding on to it for <laughs> To prove that they can win. We've been talking about this a long time. They don't want to be the loser. Anyhow, there is there is a separation here. Separation, <laughs> lovers reverse next to the tower reverse. That's a false contract. Somebody is separating from a false contract. There is no growth. There is no unconditional love. There is no abundance with the empress reverse. They're not dealing with an empress. They're dealing with an empress wannabe. This person doesn't even get along with the children or doesn't take care of their children. Facing challenge. Somebody's about to step up to the challenge of letting go. There's going to be a fight. There's going to be an argument that forces somebody to accept the truth. Good luck. This is not compatible.